and he then selected his exco as directed by by the sultan now if this was lawful of the sultan to do how could it not be lawful for the menteri besar to have accepted the lawful order of the sultan now when these charges were preferred against the mb and his six excos quite clearly uh, mr speaker was displaying utter ridicule of the sultan of perak because this is the sultan of perak's order it is his royal prerogative that he wanted to have a different government now the speaker completely attempt to if i may use the word for a, for lack of better word to completely sabotage the entire direction by the uh, sultan the royal prerogative issued by the sultan in the manner in which where he attempted to, to have the show cause now uh, we have got very little time uh, we'll have a lot more time uh, during the uh, question time i'm told i've got about 5 minutes more uh, but let me say this the net result of that was the mb was suspended for 18 months uh, he was not allowed legal representation uh, and then the other 6 uh, was suspended for 12 months he gave the punishment there and then in the committee stage mind you that is totally illegal because the speaker cannot impose punishment he is not a judge what he can do in the committee is to come back to the state assembly when the state assembly convene and they are the one who are supposed to suggest it, is, it their function is to suggest that this is what we propose and uh, the nature of the punishment whether the assembly will adopt and you, uh, mind you uh, i must remind you this is what happened to uh, mr gobin singh dio the son of mr karpal singh the committee decided to do something about his conduct and they referred it to the full house the full house then endorsed i think i believe it was one year suspension now that was legal i think as far as uh, uh, the law is concerned that was not done here now of course this the, the mr speaker attempted to correct the situation uh, when they had this uh, assembly under the tree where they had this uh, rectification of what in fact has been done wrongly now i want to to go a lot more but let me tell you from my perspective you will see first of all there is nothing wrong with party hopping first of all there is nothing wrong with party hopping the three person hopping here from from there they hopped here uh we have got established cases nothing less than the federal court uh from the uh, government of kelantan case that this is legal in fact it is consonant with article ila, article 103 of the federal constitution the right to associate includes the right to disassociate now if that is correct you then find that this person forming 2831 uh, one way and then reversing the situation by party hopping nothing is unlawful about it now this is the sore point of many people they say this is shameful grab of power you are grabbing power shamefully i ask you how many of you here forgive me to ask you this how many of you here shamelessly waited in anxiety when datuk sri anwar says he will bring 30% crossing over that side to decide none of you make noise you were wondering whether he would do it in september of a certain day wasn't that shameless not only shameless on the part of datuk sri anwar but shameless on the part of many of you who thought that was wonderful if it happens and here we have three person who hopped and we made such a big noise and say this was shameless grab of 